roots for significant figures. All the non-zero digits are significant. All the zeros between two non-zero digits are significant. If the number is less than one, the zeros of the right of the decimal point but to the left of the first non-zero digits are not significant. The terminal or trailing zeros in a number without a decimal point are not significant. Oh my god, this is significantly confusing. How do I calculate the number of significant figures? Please help. Don't worry because I am going to show you some very simple tricks that will help you calculate the number of significant figures easily and really fast. So keep your pen and paper ready and let's dive right into this. Let's look at the first trick for significant figures. Let's say you're given a number that does not have any decimal point. So there's no decimal in the number. Then what should you do to calculate the significant figures? Very simple. Just delete all the ending zeros and count the number of digits. So as you can see, here's the rule that if the number does not contain a decimal point, so if there's no decimal point in the number, then simply delete all the ending zeros. So all the zeros at the end, which we call as ending zeros or trailing zeros, remove them, count the number of digits and you're done. Let's understand this rule with some very simple examples. If you take the number 175, see there's no decimal point, there's no decimal in the number, it's just a number. So how many significant figures here? There's no zero for me to delete. So all the three digits are significant because we are left with these three digits. So the answer is going to be, it has three significant figures, which are one, seven and five. Now let's look at the next number, 5000. Look at the rule carefully, no decimal point again. And the rule said, delete all the ending zeros, all the trailing zeros. So this is your rough work, right? You're going to strike out all these zeros. Do this in rough, you know, you're not changing the number. I'm not changing 5,000 to five. Just to calculate significant figures, I'm deleting all the ending zeros. So how many digits are left? Only one. That means the number of significant figure is just one. Only five is significant here. So for example, if a measurement was taken, let's say, you know, the distance was given as 5,000 kilometers. So here only five is significant because you're not sure was it 5,007 kilometers or 5,012 kilometers or maybe even 5,100 kilometers. So those ending zeros are not significant. Only the first five digit is significant. That's why one significant figure. Okay. What about the next one? 230. Again, look at the ending zeros. There's only one zero there. You strike that out. How many digits are left? Two and three. So only two digits. So number of significant figures is two. As simple as that. Now, what about 3006? So if such a measurement was taken, how many significant figures? Should I delete these two zeros? No, no, don't make that mistake. Only the ending zeros, only the zeros at the end. So please do not delete these two zeros. Here, all the digits are significant. So we have one, two, three, four significant figures. Four digits are significant. The answer is going to be four. And what about this number? 408090 looks like a telephone number, right? So how many significant figures here? Again, take care not to delete these zeros, only the zeros at the end. All these numbers, they're following the rule, no decimal point. So I'm going to strike out this ending zero. So how many digits are left? Very simple. One, two, three, four, five. So five significant figures. So in summary, if you have a number which does not have any decimal point, so no decimal point, just delete the ending zeros and the number of digits that are left will give you the number of significant figures. So you don't have to remember all those dangerous rules. You can use this simple trick. But you might be thinking, what about numbers which have a decimal point? Don't worry, I'm coming to that next. Now, what do we do if the number has a decimal point? Very simple. If the number has a decimal point, then delete all the beginning zeros. That is before the first non-zero digit and count the number of digits. That will give you the number of significant figures. So let's see this rule that if you have a number that contains a decimal point, then delete all the beginning zeros. All the zeros in the beginning before the first non-zero digit 
and you count the number of digits that is going to give you the number of significant figures so let's look at this with some simple examples here you can see the first example I have is 2.78 this number has a decimal point after the 2 what does the rule say delete all the beginning zeros is there any zeros in the beginning no so all these three digits are significant that means number of significant figures is going to be 3 very simple so 2.78 all the three digits are significant now if there's a measurement like 0 0.0068 how many significant figures here so what does the rule say if there is a decimal point delete remove all the beginning zeros so I'm going to go ahead and strike out all these beginning zeros so how many significant figures only two digits are there so the answer is going to be two so simple now if we have 35.000 again there's a decimal point and what did we say delete all the beginning zeros but these zeros should I delete no these are the ending zeros trailing zeros so we can't delete them that means all these digits are significant so there are one two three four five significant figures so let's put that in five significant figures here what about this number 0 0.00070 how many significant figures delete all the beginning zeros so all the zeros that you see in the beginning get removed so how many digits are left just seven and zero please don't delete this one not the trailing zeros only the beginning so there are two significant figures isn't it easy what about this one 25.007 delete all beginning zeros but there's no zeros in the beginning don't delete these these are in the middle so therefore number of significant figures is one two three four five so simple there we go now what about 405.0 there are two zeros here but one is in the middle one is at the end there's again no beginning zero so once again all the digits are going to be counted one two three four four significant figures in this last number here so one interesting thing you may notice is that the zeros after the decimal are significant. That means if a measurement like this was made 405.0, that means it was made till this accuracy, even till the last decimal. So all the four numbers are significant. So use these simple tricks to find the number of significant figures. So let's summarize what we have learned so far. If you want to calculate the number of significant figures, look at the number. If the number does not have a decimal point so if it does not have a decimal point then just delete all the ending zeros and if you count the number of digits it will give you the number of significant figures so like we saw in these examples in 5000 you delete the ending zeros it has one significant figure in this number there's no ending zeros so all the four digits are significant four significant figures here in this number I'm going to delete this ending zero so we saw it has one, two, three, four, five significant figures. But if the number has a decimal point, then what do you do? So if the number contains a decimal point, then basically you delete all the beginning zeros. So it's like the opposite. You delete all the beginning zeros and you count the number of digits that will give you the number of significant figures. So for example, if you have 2.78, there's no beginning zero. So all three figures are significant. Here, I'm going to delete all these beginning zeros, okay? And so it has two significant figures. In 35.000, there are no beginning zeros. I shouldn't delete the ending ones. So all five digits are significant, five significant figures. In this one, 25.007, again, no beginning zeros. We shouldn't delete these ones in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five significant figures once again. So remember these simple rules for the numbers without a decimal or with a decimal. Now let's look at the scientific notation. How do we calculate the number of significant figures for the scientific notation? You might have seen this scientific notation. What is the scientific notation? A base number is used and then there is a multiplication with a power of 10. So this number that you see in front, these are called the base number. And the base number is always in this format that you have the 
one single digit before the decimal point which is non-zero okay so you can see all the digits before the decimal point must be non-zero and then you have point something multiplied by 10 to the power a certain power so these are all numbers given in scientific notation now let's see how we'll calculate the number of significant figures for such numbers so what does the rule say if it's given in scientific notation ignore the power of 10 so this power of 10 doesn't matter just use the base number to find the number of significant figures so let's look at the first example 2 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 so I'm going to ignore this 10 power and just look at the base number the base number is 2 so how many significant figures obviously 1 so this number just has one significant figure just one significant digit which is 2 let's look at the next example 3.00 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 again ignore this 10 to the power we don't care now this number has a decimal point in it the base number 3.00 and what did we learn if it has a decimal point then delete all the beginning zeros so please don't delete these zeros you should delete all the beginning zeros there are none of these so this number has one two three three significant figures all those three digits are significant how about this one 8.703 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 again forget about the 10 to the power 3 so if you're looking at this number 8.703 how many significant figures there's a decimal number I should delete all the beginning zeros and you can see that in the scientific notation you're noticing there will be no beginning zeros so again one two three four all four digits are significant what about the last one 10 to the power minus 5 I'll not look at that power so whether it's a positive power or negative power doesn't matter we'll just look at the base number 2.001 it has a decimal number we have to delete all the beginning zeros there is no beginning zero zeros are in the middle so you will count all the four digits one two three four once again this number has four significant figures so just use this simple rule for scientific notation and you will not have any confusion now let's look at exact numbers and constants for example how many apples do you see in this picture four right so I can write the number of apples as four or I could write 4.0 or 4.00 or we can keep going on and on 4.00000 and so on these are all correct right because the number of apples is exactly 4 this is what we call an exact number there is no uncertainty here because we are sure that there are 4 apples right so how many significant figures does this exact number have you can just go on and on 4.00000000 and we know that in the decimal number all the zeros at the end are significant so the number of significant figures is infinite that's right because you can go on and on 4.00000000 we can just go on and on so please remember that exact numbers like this have infinite significant figures this is a very important point for you to remember in scientific calculations we often use constants like the speed of light which we denote by the symbol c which is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meter per second or it can be the gravitational constant which we denote by capital g which is 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square by kg square or you have the Avogadro's constant 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 all these constants are defined with an exact value and are not subject to measurement errors or uncertainties therefore once again they have infinite number of significant figures and can be used in calculations without any rounding or truncation so remember all exact numbers and scientific constants that you use we consider that they have infinite number of significant figures. So let's summarize the significant figure calculation tricks that we have learned. Remember to look at the number and see if it has a decimal point or not. If the number does not contain a decimal point, then what do you do? You delete 
all the ending zeros, all the trailing zeros, you delete it off and count the number of digits. That will give you the number of significant figures. But if the number contains a decimal point, so if you have a number that has a decimal point in it, then what do you do? You delete all the beginning zeros. All the zeros in the beginning you delete off and count the number of digits that will give you the number of significant figures. If you have numbers in scientific notation, remember what we have to do. So for numbers given in scientific notation, then basically you ignore the power of 10. The power of 10 is not important. Just look at the base number and use these first two rules to give you the number of significant figures. And if you have an exact number or you're given a constant, then what is the number of significant figures? Infinite, right? Because they have infinite number of significant figures. So if you guys remember these simple tricks, you don't have to learn all those complicated rules. You can just use these simple tricks and quickly calculate the number of significant figures without making any mistakes. Now I have a question for you. Why don't you try to calculate the number of significant figures for these three numbers? So come on, go ahead and try that. Find the number of significant figures for each of these three numbers. And do let me know the answer in the comments below. I look forward to reading your answers. So please try this question and let me know your answers in the comments below. Friends, I hope you found these tricks to calculate the number of significant figures useful. And I'm sure now you can calculate the number of significant digits very fast and easily. So do share out this video with your friends. Make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell. And do check out our website, manochaacademy.com. We also have an Android app, Manocha Academy, where we have full courses on physics, chemistry, biology, maths, coding, and artificial intelligence. So do check these out. I'll put the links in the description below and please share it with your friends and family. So stay connected with Manocha Academy and keep learning.